It has been said many, many times that a picture is worth a thousand words. And this photo, taken on August 14, 1945, spoke volumes about the joy that marked the end of World War II. Tonight, the woman in that photo is in San Jose for a very special reason. ABC 7's David Louie is live to explain why, David. Well, Dan, there's no question that that photo, along with the flag raising at Iwo Jima, are unforgettable moments in our nation's history. The lady in that kiss photo is here tonight because she's trying to campaign to get a national day of remembrance for the greatest generation. Her name is Edith Shane. She was working as a nurse at a New York City hospital the day Japan surrendered. Today, at age 92, she recalls vividly how she took the subway to Times Square, where the crowds were celebrating the end of the war. And when I came there, of course, there were clumps of people who were celebrating and talking about it. And so I, you know, walked into these people to, to celebrate with them. And... All of a sudden, there was somebody was holding me and kissing me. They elected a wartime hero as president. They made and bought cars. They started families, creating a huge baby boom and a need to entertain them. They turned the American dream of peace and prosperity into reality. The TV show, Ozzie and Harriet, reflected their lives. The adventures of Ozzie and Harriet. They became the greatest generation. It helps the children of this generation, future generations, know how we cooperated during World War II that, you know, we wanted to know what we could do, and we all did it. We all helped each other. Edith Shane is in San Jose to support a campaign to mark the second Sunday of August into a day of commemoration for the post-war generation. She's attending a special reception ahead of a big band show called In the Mood at San Jose's Center for the Performing Arts. The organizers behind the day of commemoration say a bill is making its way through Congress. Now they're passing away at the rate of one every 90 seconds. Uh, there's a memorial in Washington, D.C., but we thought that it was very important that all across the nation on the second Sunday of every August that we pause and we remember the incredible achievements of these people. Edith Shane and the members of her generation remember the post-war era as a special time. While their memories will fade in time, they hope that their stories will live on. The photo represents so much. And it isn't just love, it's hope. Hope for tomorrow. Hope for our country. A future. Plans. It was wonderful. It would be harder to find a finer example of our living history. In San Jose, David Louie, ABC 7 News. That is such a great story, David. What a neat lady. Thank you.